Come on, Siri. Why? Sorry, Siri wanted to talk to me. I'm not sure why I did not call for her. Anyway. Hi, it's Kate here again. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. You're probably wondering why I'm holding this foam piece of um, equipment here. It is actually my chair. My chair is a piece of crap. I picked it up on the side of the road a couple months ago and I, it looked perfect. I was like, what's wrong with this chair? It's it's lovely. What? There was nothing wrong with it, at least from first glance. And I took it home. Within uh, within a week or so, our rest started getting loose and one has officially fallen off. So that's fun. Hello and welcome. Today, I want to talk about my favorite beauty products from 2020. I have a... A small amount of stuff here but i really wanted to pick my absolute favorites let's just go from an order of the way i apply my makeup so let's talk about foundations bb creams in this case too the pure lease perfect glow bb cream i have it in the shade light media i just really love this bb cream it's nice and light light to medium coverage you can build it up a bit i have it on today actually I think it just looks very natural. It doesn't irritate my skin. It's a little bit hydrating. I don't think I would wear this much in the summer because I get very oily when it's hot out, but I do really like it for this time of year in January. My skin's dry AF. Another plus is that this has SPF 30 in it. So I get that extra boost of protection. Also another product really have been loving lately is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I have it in the shade F5.7. But one of the top reasons I love this foundation is the color. It actually matches me fairly well. It's an awesome shade match for me. It's slightly olive. I'd say my skin tone is light to medium, but I do have an olive undertone and it can be very hard to match my undertone specifically. A lot of times foundations are too yellow or too neutral and they don't really work. But this one is one of the closest foundation matches I've ever found. So love that for me this shade in particular is only sold at ulta beauty online or you know makeup revolutions website reason i like this foundation is fairly full coverage you know i'm having a bad skin day or i'm having some breakouts this is great for that this is perfect for the summer it is on the matte side so i don't know what's happening i think i'm just getting old <laughs> i've always had very oily skin and lately especially this winter i think I'm getting old, I'm aging, my hormones are changing. It's like I have dry, flaky skin now on the regular, at least in winter time. So to make this work all year round, lately I've been mixing it with a moisturizer. So I'll put in like a small pump of just a very lightweight everyday moisturizer. Right now I'm using the Cetaphil moisturizing lotion because I purchased that before I switched to being cruelty free. So I'm using it up. I find that one does mix very well with this foundation. It looks nice, it lasts well even when I mix it with moisturizer. I highly recommend this for oily skin and if you have dry skin, you can make it work if you mix it with moisturizer. Moving on to concealer. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. I have it in the shade L400 Classic Ivory. I love this concealer this is one of my favorite concealers i've ever tried it is very reminiscent of the tarte shape tape concealer however the tarte shape tape to be very drying even when i was very oily i found that it made my under eyes look so dry and creepy so this one has a similar amount of coverage it's very full coverage however it doesn't make my under eyes look like a parched desert sand floor for that reason, I love this one. The shade I have is a little bit lighter than my skin tone, so I find it to be very brightening. Blends out very easily. And if I set this with a little bit of powder, I hardly get any creasing at all. And I cannot tell you how revolutionary that is for me because I have very intense under eye wrinkles. It's just the way my eyes are shaped. I have very deep set eyes. I love this so much, highly recommend. And to top it off, it's cruelty free and affordable. Cannot recommend it enough. If you're in the market for a full coverage concealer, don't sleep on it. Next, 
my favorite powder this year is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Mini Instant Retouch Setting Powder in the shade Butter. It is just so gorgeous looking. It makes your skin look so smooth. It has a nice, I don't know, perfumey scent. I, I really don't know how to explain it. Maybe slightly sweet, like cotton candy-ish. I absolutely love it. That's the powder I'm wearing today. I find it to be mattifying, but it's not overly so, and it does offer a little bit of coverage. So I really enjoy using this powder. It's very finely milled and doesn't look cakey. I don't have a bronzer to talk about this year. The bronzers I have, I'm trying to finish up. They're bronzers I've had for like two years now, and I'm just trying to get rid of them. Not particularly my favorite. Yeah, we're gonna skip bronzer this year. <laughs> Let's talk about blush. I have one blush I want to talk about today. This is the Fenty Beauty Cream Blush. I have it in the shade Rose Latte. Now the shade is a... Come on Siri. Why? Sorry, Siri wanted to talk to me. I'm not sure why I did not call for her. So this is a warm tone kind of nude color. Just love the formula. I mean, this isn't my favorite shade in the world. On me, I, I kind of prefer pinkier blushes, but the reason I'm mentioning this is because I do use this quite a lot and I love the formula. I find it blends out so nicely. It lasts long on the face. Number one thing that I love about it is you can blend it on top of powder and it doesn't look weird and doesn't mess with your base. I know when this first came out, people were really harping on the size of the product. I have used this countless times. It has to be at least 30 times. And it doesn't look like I've made a dent in it yet. So even though it is a small amount of product, I don't think that it will be necessarily an issue for most people, unless you're using it every single day. But even so, cream products don't last that long and you're gonna need to repurchase it, usually within a year anyway. Yeah, it does have a 12 month uh, container on here. So I personally think that the product size isn't even an issue. I highly recommend if you find a shade you like, picking this one up. Next, let's talk about highlighters. So I really love the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Highlighters. I have the shades Wisp and Flexitarian. I really love Wisp. However, this is getting old. I think the performance is starting to shrink down a little bit, but it, it still does work, so I still have it. And then Flexitarian is crazy pigmented. Oh my gosh, there they are. Like, I don't even understand. It's so, Flexitarian is so reflective. It's a little more white slash icy than I typically go for, but I do find that it is very gorgeous and you, a little bit goes a very long way with Flexitarian. The reason I'm mentioning this is because I love the formula. It can go over powder, which is like so important for me when it comes to a cream product. My oily skin friends, you'll you'll understand what I mean. They blend out so easily. They, you just use your finger and it's so quick. It's, this is some of the best cream highlighters I've used. So highly recommend. And on top of that, cruelty free and affordable. Next, we have, this is like the more natural highlight that I'm gonna mention today. If you're a natural highlight lover, highly recommend this one. This is the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in Highlight 01. This is actually the highlight I wore on my wedding day. I actually ended up using my friend. She had a, a little mini and I used hers. But I loved it so much and I bought it a couple years later after my wedding because I, you know, I couldn't really stop thinking about how I didn't own the highlight. I just find that this is so natural, so pretty, so smooth. You really can't mess it up. Uh, it's gorgeous. It's, I'm actually wearing it on top of Flexitarian. I like used it to set it. If you're fair, this shade will work really well for you as well. I have a friend who I bought this for for Christmas She's very pale and this shade worked on her. So if you're pale to light, I think you'll really love this highlight. And then last for highlighters, this is the Pixi Rach Loves collaboration called the Layers Highlighting Palette. I just love this formula, it's so cute. I actually bought this kind of recently, I bought it maybe three months ago, but I'm just obsessed with the formula. It's so gorgeous, it's so smooth, it's not chunky at all. Highlights, they're pretty blinding, so 
This is not for the faint of heart. I think the colors are stunning and I think these colors will work on a wide variety of skin tones, especially since Rachel created this to be a mixing highlighter palette. So people with deeper skin tones can definitely mix these shades to make these more wearable for them. But even so, these golds I think are very flattering on a wide range of skin tones. So highly recommend this. If it's still available, it was sold at Target. Let's talk about brows. So the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Mascara in the shade Brownie Brows. I use this shade and Chocolatey Brows. Pretty much both of these shades work for me. So if you have brown hair like me, I think either of these work. Today I have the Brownie Brows in. Oh, this is a lovely product. It's so affordable. It fills in your eyebrows just enough that it's not too pigmented but it still does enough to make a difference and make your brows look a little more structured the price point is Next, let's talk about the eyes so i have one cream eyeshadow to mention this is the ColourPop super shock shadow in cosmic charge i got this from ulta so even if you're not shopping on the ColourPop website you should be able to find this at Ulta. I am obsessed with this. What I like to use this for is if I'm doing like a one eyeshadow look, I'm, I just need to get out the door. I want to look a little put together. I will use this eyeshadow all over the lid and blend it into my crease. And it just, it's just a very nice taupe shade and it has a lot of glitter reflex in it. So if you don't like glitter, you won't like this, but I personally am just a really big fan of this eyeshadow and I find that I wear it a lot. For eyeshadow palettes, I have three I want to mention today. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette. It's funny, I've had this palette for nearly three years. I really didn't start using it and loving it until 2020, which is very odd. Favorite part about this palette is the fact that it's just so easy to use on a daily basis. So like. Aside from that bright coral shade called Bloom, I can just use a couple of these mattes in the crease and then throw on some of the sparkly multi-dimensional neutral browns. And that's a big reason I love this palette is that I use the majority of the shades. There's like a couple that I don't, but for the most part, I get my use and money's worth out of this palette. My favorite shades are Pearl, Steampunk, Rose Quartz, Ember, Birch, Cinder, Twig, Teak, and cyborg i think the shimmers in this palette are very special they're very multi-dimensional they really show up on the eyes and they apply best with your finger in my opinion i've really fallen in love with this palette and i reach for it all the time and i know it became available recently for the holidays so if you can find it on sale it's it's so worth it it's so worth the money if you're a neutral lover you need this. Okay, the second palette I really love this year. This is the Urban Decay Naked Honey palette. I am obsessed with this packaging. Ugh, it's so pretty. I don't understand. Whoever created this, like, it's almost like honey being poured. And, like, all the lettering, it's 3D here. I just love this. I love everything about this palette. I'm obsessed with it. And the inside? Ugh gorgeous so the reason i love this palette is because i can just same thing with the sultry but the tones are so different so this palette is more obviously warm toned with all these beautiful golds it's the same thing i can pick a few of the mattes throw them in my crease real quick and then use one of the really pretty golds in this palette on my lid and it just creates a simple easy look that i can throw together in you know 10 minutes or so and then be on my merry way. I think the formula itself is really nice. The mattes blend easily. The shimmers are impactful and actually have dimension to them. Like thinking about the sultry, there's some shades in there that I don't use that much. With this palette, I can't say that. I use every single shade. I get my use out of this. I haven't really purchased any of their other naked palettes. This one really spoke to me. So I cannot speak to the other naked formula, but this one is very nice. If you ever catch this on sale, because it does go on sale a lot for half off, snag it. It is so worth it. If you love warm tones and you are a neutral lover, you will not regret it. I am telling you right now. 
better get it. Last palette. This is actually, I don't know if this is cheating. I got this for Christmas, but I did get it a little early. My husband gave it to me maybe a couple weeks before Christmas. So I've been using this since mid-December and I love this palette. It is so cool. I've had my eye on it for like ever since it released. I just, it spoke to me in a way that a lot of palettes nowadays have not. Um, I think the color story is so unique, so original. I don't even follow Mel Thompson, but I saw this palette and I had to have it. The color story is just so cool. Every time I play with this palette, I feel so inspired and I feel pushed to try out new things and try out new looks. This is so cool. The cover is actually designed, I believe Mel Thompson's tattoo artist designed it. That is such a cool touch. The fact that this was hand drawn by somebody, it's so creative. And just aside from the color story, the Sydney Grace formula is incredible. I love it so much. I have literally nothing bad to say about this palette. Maybe the price point, but even so, it's a smaller indie brand. I do not mind shelling out the coin for a smaller company that is ethical, cruelty-free, supports American jobs. So I have no problem with that. Just swatch a few of my favorite shades because I think you need to see how beautiful these shimmers are. I'm gonna swatch Web, Fire Butts, Scarab, maybe oh, of Web, Fire Butts, Scarab, and BB. They honestly look better on the eyes than they do swatch, but they, you can still see. They're pretty metallic. They're stunning. They're gorgeous. They're everything. If you are interested in this palette or checking out Sydney Grace, highly recommend it. Um, it might be out of stock, but I think it's worth the wait. You can sign up for the email list. One of the things I really want to do this year is explore more indie brands because I feel like the formulas are more innovative. The color stories are more innovative. And... I like supporting smaller businesses and entrepreneurs. So the one mascara I really want to mention this year, actually I want to mention two mascaras. One of them I don't have anymore because I used it up, but I'm still going to mention it. That one is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist, the original in the silver tube. I'll insert a picture here. Such a nice everyday mascara. It's volumizing, lengthening, and smudge or flake underneath my eyes and it, it's long wearing. I just have no complaints with that mascara. It's affordable. So that's one of my favorites I use this year. And then I also, I actually got this on Amazon in a two pack for $20. So basically $10 each. This is the second one I have. I went through the first one entirely. So this is the Balm Mad Lash Mascara. And this mascara is different than most mascaras i usually gravitate to in that the wand is like a spiky plasticky one and i have to say this mascara has very much impressed me it's grown on me at first i i wasn't sure but after it dries out a little after a week after opening i really love it this is the mascara i'm using now again this formula doesn't smudge it doesn't flake just it gives you decent volume this mascara is good at separation, and that makes sense given the spiky plastic one. So if you like mascaras that are lengthening and separating while still giving a little bit of volume, you'll probably really love this. First thing I want to mention is the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in 03 Nude. This lip liner, much to say about it other than... I really love the shade. I think it's a very nice rosy neutral pink. It goes well with a lot of lip colors. It is long wearing. I have no complaints. It's affordable. Next. Makes me really sad to say, but this product is no longer available. This is a Too Faced lipstick. This is in the shade How About It. Lipstick I'm wearing today. I'm so sad that they're discontinuing this formula because it is so comfortable. It's so hydrating. It smells nice. It looks shiny and juicy. I'm wearing it today, by the way. It, I just love the color. That's what's special about this, too. Not only is the formula wonderful, but the color is just stunning. So if you happen to see these, if they're on sale anywhere, you happen to see Pout About It, I highly recommend it. From Julep. 
This is the Ultra Hydrating Lip Gloss. I actually have this in two shades, but I cannot for the life of me find the other one. The other one is like a, I'm talking about, it's called Vibe, and it's a purpley, like, mauve nude. I hope I find it. I only had a little bit left. I had maybe a quarter of it to go. That's how close I was to finishing it. And I misplaced it. And I'm like, I haven't even been going anywhere. We're in a pandemic. Where, where could it have gone? Like, <laughs> just, I don't know. I hate that. But anyways, this is also the same formula. But this is the shade Boss. This is a, like, corally, orangey, um, bright gloss here. And I love this one, too. I just, like, vibe a little better, but... This one I find I really love layering on top of nude lip liners and nude lipsticks. I think it adds a lot of, it just adds a little something spicy to it. I don't know. I find that the, this gloss formula is super comfortable, hydrating, and it smells like Fruit Loops. I don't even, I love the smell. I love it so much. The packaging is also really nice, like surprisingly nice. You can get these lip glosses at Target actually I saw them there recently there's another shade they have like a nude one that I really want to try it was like a neutral I'm really tempted it's like maybe maybe if I find vibe somewhere and I use that one up all the way then I can go and grab that nude one that I've been eyeing Ugh, I feel like everyone everyone loves this gloss including myself this is the Fenty Beauty gloss bomb in Fenty Glow I have it on top of my Too Faced lipstick right now. I love this gloss. I've been using it so much. I bought it back in maybe April of 2020 and I have already used 80% of it. <laughs> so I obviously like this gloss. It looks great on its own. It has just the right amount of pigment where you do see it show up, but it's like not too pigmented where you, it doesn't look natural layers beautifully on top of other products on top of other lipsticks slash liners i and i love the smell brings me back straight to bonnie bell you know when you were like in fifth grade in middle school and uh, my mom would take me to kmart <laughs> to go shopping and the first place i would go is like the beauty section with all the bonnie bells like there was a whole aisle of just bonnie bell what was like my favorite flavor i don't know but man like i my mom would buy me one like every time we would go that was like super nice of her but she's probably helped fuel my makeup addiction that i still have to this day so that is it from me today comment below what were some of your favorite makeup products in 2020 maybe we had some in common maybe you'll mention a product that i really haven't thought about uh let me know if you have any video requests please write them down below. Don't forget, if you like this video, please like it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to catch more of my beauty videos. That'll be all for me. Bye guys! God, I can't fucking breathe today. All right, anyways. I find the sh the chart tape shape. No. Let's see. Why does Siri keep turning on? I'm not even saying her name. And oh, <laughs> probably didn't see that. Okay. How do I do this to myself? It's a question I ask myself every day. I just did it again. <laughs>